Hey guys, JBuild here, and this video is going to be the first in a series where I'm going to be installing my Illumaline table saw fence system. Um, since I'm currently working on restoring this Craftsman 113 table saw that I picked up not too long ago, um, so I figured it would just be a good opportunity to show you guys at least the overall or high level steps that are involved um, and give you guys more of a visual video walkthrough. So here I'm going to proceed with installing my um, rail supports and in this particular saw obviously you guys can see that um, I don't have the extension so I'm just going to install the supports on the outer two mounting holes on my saw and I'm assembling um, the vertical and horizontal pieces for the rail support and the way it's designed is um, you take the top hole and, and there's a support bracket that's designed for the tape measure rail and the mounting screw will go through that um, and then attach to, to the table saw top. And some people have asked if I, you know, if I want to make this piece shorter so the rail um, can sit a little bit higher. Um, that can be done. And I'm going to show you what that requires. Basically, you have to short, you can shorten the vertical piece. You can cut it down on a miter saw by just like a general cutting all purpose uh, blade. But you can't cut it too short and you only want to cut the non-machined side um, that does not have the anchor connector. So the hole, the size that the side that has the single quarter inch hole is the side you can trim down and basically just drill a new hole in the center. Um, and I'm basically reiterating that you don't want to cut it too short because then you won't be able to get your Allen key in there, or Allen wrench in there to be able to adjust, um, to make adjustments to, you know, to your fence after after it's installed so in terms of how much to actually cut it um, i wouldn't recommend cutting it more than um, an inch and a quarter from the top um, and you can see that leaves me just with just enough gap there to be able to turn my key, allen key um, in order to make any adjustments later on and so what i would prefer it or recommend is to drill your hole first um, your new hole first which i would drill at inch and three quarters down from the top and then um, you know you can proceed with shortening the actual extrusion. This way, you can position your um, your vertical support first before you actually cut it down, just to be sure. I measured and marked out my hole, um, and just use a center punch to um, just get it started. And then use a quarter inch drill bit, and here I have it finished up. Um, probably cleaned out a little bit, and you can test fit it just to make sure. How it looks and you're okay with the height of the rail um, and like I mentioned before the mounting is just you know using your cool wrench screw and then your flange nut just goes on from the back and once you have the hole drilled um, you can mark where you want to cut the extrusion for me personally I just uh, marked it at the very edge or the very top of my table saw top um, but you could shorten it, personal preference. You could go a little bit lower if you wanted to. I don't think it really makes any difference. Once you have it cut down, um, just make sure to take a file and um, file away any of the sharp um, edges on the vertical piece that you just cut down. And then here I'm just proceeding with installing it on, on my table saw top. Um, you could do the horizontal piece first with the anchor connector. I don't really think it matters. I just did it first and then I went back and attached my horizontal piece and I was able to tighten it um, without any without any issues. Next, we're going to take our V-slot rail and use the provided stud connectors, which basically fit perfectly into, inside the V-slot rail. And we're going to position them from the top and then, you know, from the bottom, they can grab onto the bottom of V-slot rail. And on the bottom of the half inch um, horizontal rail support, we're basically going to take our flat washer and, and, and the lock nut and tighten that down. So there you have it guys, the rails installed. Um, that's it for this step. The only thing I will add here at the end is if you feel like, um, if you take your, this is my um, rail for the tape measure. And if I place it on here on the, on the supports that are designed for this, it is slightly, just slightly, maybe a sixteenth of an inch higher um, than my miter's, uh, than my miter slot. 
And um, personally, I'm okay with that. But if you wanted to lower this, the way you can do that is basically you would undo the screws here um, and then attach these supports without the support bracket and then use one of the provided extra just um, quarter inch dash 20 screw and T-nut and you can mount this lower at any position here. Now obviously um, I would recommend doing that at the very end because um, if you lower this any more, then you might have trouble adjusting the fence afterwards. So what you what you could do um, in that case is install it now without these supports, and then wait until the very end after you've finished calibrating your fence, um, and then you can mount this on. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, next, I'm going to move on to assembling and installing um, the front slider assembly.